Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. Evaluating inferences is the topic of this video. Now in the last few videos we discussed conversion, obversion, and contraposition. Now remember, conversion gives logically equivalent results for E and I propositions. Obversion gives logically equivalent results for all four propositions and contraposition logically equivalent results for A and O propositions. Now these operations can be used to evaluate immediate inferences. But first note, there are two formal fallacies that can occur with these operations. One is called illicit conversion, and it's committed when a conclusion results from converting an A or an O premise. Now the second is called illicit contraposition, and it's committed when a conclusion results from contraposing an E or an I premise. All right, let's use these operations to evaluate inferences. If you're given this inference, you first compare the subject and predicate terms in the premise to the terms in the conclusion. Now you will notice that the terms are in the same order, but notice that the predicate term in the premise has been replaced with its complement in the conclusion. So this suggests obversion. Also notice the quantifier of the premise is the word no, and it has been replaced in the conclusion to the word all. So this conclusion was produced by averting the premise. And remember that aversion gives logically equivalent results for all four types of propositions, so you know that the inference is valid. We are now going to do some practice problems. Now what you'll be doing essentially is looking at the inferences and determining what operation was used to produce the conclusion, whether it was conversion, obversion, or contraposition. You will check to see if it was done correctly and see if it has logically equivalent results. You need to remember the logical equivalent results for all of the operations. Or you can have a note. Conversion, E and I. Obversion, all. And contraposition, A and E. Let's begin the practice problems. Practice problem number one. Now, is this inference valid or invalid? If it's invalid, what fallacy is committed? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Ding! Invalid, due to illicit contraposition. Now, if you got it wrong, notice the terms in the premise have switched and replaced with their complements. So the operation is contraposition. But contraposition does not give logically equivalent results for I propositions. Next practice problem. Is this inference valid? If not, what fallacy is committed? Press pause. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Ding! It's valid. The operation was obversion, which gives logically equivalent results for all four categorical propositions. Next practice problem. Is this inference valid? If not, what fallacy is committed? Press pause. The answer will appear. Three, two, one. Ding! It's invalid due to conversion of an A proposition. Next practice problem. Is this inference valid? And if not, what fallacy is committed? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! It's valid due to obversion, which gives logically equivalent results for all four propositions. Next practice problem. Is this inference valid? And if not, what fallacy is committed? Press pause. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Ding! It's valid due to contraposing the premise, which is an A proposition. Next practice problem. Is this inference valid? If not, what fallacy is committed? Press pause. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Ding! It's valid due to converting an E proposition. Next practice problem. Is this inference valid? If not, what fallacy is committed? Press pause. The answer will appear in 3, 
2, 1. Ding! It's invalid due to the conversion of an O proposition. And final practice problem. Is this inference valid? If not, what fallacy is committed? Press pause if you need to. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Ding! It's invalid due to contraposing an E proposition. A very good job, ladies and gentlemen, on those practice problems. Now, you're one step closer to advancing to the next level. See my other videos on logic, comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.